Hello guys, in this video we are continuing our coverage of Llama 3 model. In this video I am going to show you how you can locally install Llama 3 model on the Linux system. You can use the same process for any Linux flavor. I already have covered Llama 3 model from various angles on my channel where I have shown that how you can get it installed locally on Windows, how you can fine tune it with TorchTune or with Onslaught and the whole architectural review we have done and also I have done some agentic software manipulation with this Llama 3. So if you are not aware of what Llama model is then it is one of the best open source uh, highly performant model from Meta which has just been released yesterday. This model has already beaten a lot of other models on various benchmarks. So Meta developed and released the Meta Llama 3 family of large language models which is a collection of pre-trained and instruction tuned generative text model in 8 billion and 70 billion sizes. The Llama 3 instruction tuned models are optimized for dialogue use cases and outperform many of the available open source chat models on common industry benchmarks. Also Llama has taken great care in terms of helpfulness and safety when building these models. This model Llama 3 comes in two sizes, 8 billion and 70 billion parameters in pre-trained and instruction tuned variants. There is no chat model at the moment. This model accepts text as an input and generates text and code only. There is no vision. Llama 3 is an autoregressive language model that uses an optimized transformer architecture. The tuned version uses supervised fine tuning and reinforcement learning with human feedback or RLHF to align with human preferences for helpfulness and safety. The token count of this model is around 15 trillion. Um, also, the cutoff knowledge date for Llama 8 billion is March 2023, whereas for 70 billion it is December 2023. And other than that, 8 billion and 70 billion, soon we will see 400 billion plus Llama 3 model which is still under training. This model uh, uses grouped query attention for improved inference scalability. And it's a static model trained on an offline data set. Future versions of the tuned models will be released as they are improving it and there will be a lot more variants of this model in the offering. Okay, so having said that, let me show you how you can get it installed locally and then we will um, also play around with it on few of the benchmarks. So let me take you to my local system which is the Ubuntu 22.04. This is my Ubuntu server and don't worry about the screen in front of you. I have already downloaded the model, so just to save time, but I just wanted to show you the screen that when you will be running it, it is going to take a bit of a time and you will be downloading all of these tensors. So be patient because it might take a bit of a time. It's not that huge. I mean, you can see there are four tensors of around five gig or uh, almost three of them at five gigs around I would say 16 to 17 gigabyte you would need. So let me exit from this and then we will start it from the scratch. Let's exit. Let me clear the screen. And let me first quickly show you the version of my Linux system. I'm using Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GP, GPU card of 15 GP and my memory is 32 GP. Let me clear my screen. Make sure that you have latest version of transformers install if you don't just do pip install transformers dash upgrade and the other thing you would need is the torch so also make sure you have torch latest version installed and that that's all you need in terms of prerequisites one more thing you would need is hugging face token and because the reason is that this model if i take you back you see it's a gated model as is as it's it is saying on the model card so you would need so once the first time when you will go to this page and i will drop the link in beauty's description you need to enter your details and click submit request access and it takes a bit of a time like few hours sometimes it is quick you get the access from meta and once you have the access you just need to uh, go to your profile photo on the top right click on settings in hugging face and then in the access token, you need to grab the token. So I already have created the token. You just click on new token, just give it any name and then generate token. I already have this Llama 3 token with the read permission. 
and I'm going to use this one in my code. Now, the first step we need uh, to do after going to our local system, where let me quickly take you, is to just run this Python 3 to start the optimal um, interpreter, import transformers, and then also import the torch. Once that's done, let's log in to Hugging Face by simply giving these two commands. We are just using Hugging Face and I'm using my new token with this one. That is all we need to do in terms of logging in. Let's put in our model name, which I just showed you earlier. And then let's run it through pipeline. And this is a command which I was running, which downloaded the whole model. Because I already have downloaded it, it is not going to load it again. All it is doing it, it is just loading all the sh checkpoint shards on my GPU. So hopefully it will fit in on my GPU. And if this gives an error, it means that you need a more powerful GPU. Hopefully, okay. So it means that it has almost okay. There you go. So it loaded on GPU. Let's proceed further. And now let me give it the message template. So if you can see there's a system one where I'm telling it that you are a helpful AI assistant who is witty and humorous. And the user is asking that explain the meaning of happiness. Let's put it in our tokenizer. And this is a simple tokenizer. Let's also give it some of the um, chat template and the tokens. One thing with Llama 3 is that it needs a special tokens for tokenizer, such as uh, EOT, which is end of turn ID. Okay, so I would need to define that tokenizer, which I forgot to do. Let me quickly do it. So I have redefined it. I have just put in pipeline dot tokenizer. So it is good now. And now let's get the output. It is, it has just sent it to model generating the output. Let's wait for it to come back. Shouldn't take too long. Is running locally and that is done let's print the output there you go it says happiness i lose save yet also wonderful state of being that we all strive for or at least i hope we do you see it is witty it is humorous so what is happiness you ask well i'll try to break it down for you in a way that's both scientifically uh, sound and humorously relatable happiness is like a warm fuzzy feeling that you get when you are doing something you love or when Someone gives you a great big hug or a decent cup of coffee. I think I'll take coffee. It's a sensation of being content, fulfilled, and at peace with the world. How good is that? Look at the pros. And towards the end, now I know what you're thinking, but what about the tough times? What about the life when life gets tough? And I'm, you see, because we have uh, just put in Max New Token 256 here, so it has just curtailed the output, but you can already tell that how good this model is. Let me ask it a coding question. And I'm going to clear the screen. I have cleared the screen. Let's give it this message. In this one, I'm asking it, you're a helpful Python and Java developer who knows both languages. And then I'm asking it, convert this Java method into Python. And this is the method which I have given it. Simple factorial function. So let's see if it is able to do it. Let me put it through the pipeline of tokenizer. So bear with me terminator so these are all the special tokens with llama 3 need let's throw it in the into the pipeline so that model will generate the output and then we are going to print it out so we are expecting it that it will do the code translation there you go so you see this is the equivalent python method here how good is that so you already saw that it's reasoning and its English prose is awesome. It follows the instruction, pretty safe. And then it is also uh, really good in the coding scenario too. And I could play on and on with this model. I think one of the best model I have seen so far, especially the full one. And so um, also check out my Windows video. That was also good and you would love it. That's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this model. I think one of the best model for sure. And there's a lot of other information available on the channel. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.